Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. This is quite a view from up here on on uh, Saks Fifth Avenue. <laughs> Thought about uh, the houses on the hill being a little richer community. Just trying to figure out how to how to make that happen. I don't know how to force the mayor to move out here, but from up here, yeah, it's quite a view of the town. Kind of interesting. Now, I'm noticing how quickly we are running out of forest over here. These guys right here are not going to be cuttable until we go through and remove all the protects. So I've left it there so that the trees can hit full growth, but these are a different kind of tree, so I'm wondering what full growth actually looks like. I'm going to say that's a full growth of a birch right there. That's been there since early on. In fact, that... Ooh! I had never noticed that before. Will you look at that? It's had babies. The forest will naturally seed themselves? Well, those look like bushes, though. I don't know. I can click on that one. And I have protect. This one I cannot click on. Interesting. So, these bushes were not there before, when we first started the game. And... Because I remember this one thinking I wanted this... Cart, uh, cart parking to be right here and didn't want to destroy the birch. <clears throat> and it seems like there was a second one over there, but I'm not sure about that. But there were no bushes under it. And bushes don't form because of any of these buildings. The only bushes I've ever seen form are the houses right there. Hmm. You, would you happen to be an ash? Kind of looks that, like those. That one is ash tree, and this one I can't do anything with because it's part of the house. So I don't know if that is the mature version of those or not. So I won't uncheck those for now, I guess is what I'm getting to. But that was really interesting. I don't know where those bushes came from. And how does the game know to do that? Um, where else could we find evidence of that? I mean, here's definitely mature trees. And I don't get the sense of any kind of shrubberies in there. Now, do we have any kind of a, of a hardwood forest on the map? These are all conifers. Zoom out over there. Oh, 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 wait a minute, right here. No. No, that's just regular uh, conifers there. Um, I know we've never planted in any of these. Any sense of a little tree in there? Don't think so. So, that one's a mystery. I don't know the answer to that. Anyway, what are we doing right now? You know, what am I, three, five minutes into uh, <laughs> into my introduction of not accomplishing anything? What are you guys? You're hay, fe uh, hay, uh, hay dryers, okay. So we are planting. We've kicked the speed up, right? There's no trade going on right now, right? We are in the middle of this one. Okay, four days left, and 10 of 20 have been loaded and sent out which means there is a cart leaving. So apparently the wagons can only handle 10 at a time. So 10 per wagon. That's why we've seen multiples come in. We wasn't expecting it. Um, there's no cart there. What, 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 slow down. What happened? 10 of 20. There's no little cart symbol on here. Hmm. 10 of 20. Over here, we still have plenty left. We could do another 10. I assume that there's 10 coming in. But where's the wagon? There you are. It came delayed? Interesting. I'm trying to remember what I did last time. Normally, I'll do it all at once. Why would there be a delay in the wagon coming? Huh. So I'm assuming that you were coming for the other 10. This 10 of 20 right here. So we have 22 in stock right there. So we could easily do another 10 while there's still a couple days left. So sunflower, let's do another 10 of you. Sunflower oil. I would say sunflower for short, but they, I'm, I'm always dealing with sunflower oil. Never sell the sunflower itself. That turns into oil, which your city, your, your town can use. They can't use sunflower. They can only use the oil. So you may as well make use of it. And you get twice as much. I think we figured that out. Um, deal. And there, so one half of a sunflower becomes a sunflower oil. If we get a chance to see this, no. 
because nobody's working in our sunflower oil workshop. All right, kick you up. No, don't kick you down. Kick you up. I want up to be on the left for some reason. Anyway, you're going to go in there. I want to see if you turn 0.5 sunflower into one sunflower oil. That's what I'm expecting. But you are show path. You're taking a rest. Uh, huh. They do that a lot. In fact, you know, we've kind of watched them. They, they tend to leave work and go home. And either they go off to get something that the home needs or they go sit on a bench. And then they will go from that bench back to work. Boy, you're sitting for a long time. There you go. Now you're going back in there. Let's watch what happens there. Uh, while we're watching this, that's all we need. Anything else going on? I'll speed it up once we get some uh, some answers out of that. Uh, so we got cattle over here. We need to fill this cow shed. He's still sitting empty. And we've got fish to get going over here. That's sitting empty. There it is. 0.5 went away, and one is being produced. So sunflower makes twice as... In fact, most of the products do. The hides. We saw that they were turning a half of a hide, 0.5 hide, into one shoe. Well, one unit of shoes, whatever that unit is. And then that one unit is divided up further into... I was going to say into tenths. I think I said that last time. But I've seen them selling you know, 0.04 shoes before. So I'm wondering if it's actually divided up into 100. So one unit is actually 100 shoes. It kind of makes sense. We've seen sunflower divided up as far as, you know, we're in the, we're in the hundredths. 0.05 sunflower being sold. So I wonder if one represents 100. In which case, one cow becomes one hide becomes 200 shoes. I don't know. Interesting. I wonder what the math really is in the background. Okay, so that kind of verified that. And we verified last time that the plowing adds 15% to all the nutrients. So we'll see this one go up to 61%. What we didn't verify, and we talked about this right at the end of the episode, is that once the planting is done and growth is beginning, we'll start to see this start to trickle down. That would have been 100%. So it's already gone down to 97. So as this goes down, as this grows, it's eating up the, the uh, nutrients. So if we can remember to go back to field one of the sunflowers at the end of the season, we should see about 60 to 70% of 100. So we should see it landing at about 30 to 40. And I actually made a mistake last time. It was sitting in the 60 range. And I figured we would add 15, so there's 75, and it would use the 60 to 70, so we had plenty. That was a mistake, because we had a really bad year the previous year. They didn't go out there to plant until the very end. So some of these only saw growth of about 10%, so or 20% or whatever. So that's actually inaccurate, and I really can't do what I thought I was going to do. So unfortunately, we still have to delete... Mm, yeah... Although they're in different places. We'll see here. Uh, you need to be fallow. So we're going to run this one fallow. We're, we need to... Okay, there it is right there. That's the only one that was out of sync. I just have to remember he's out of sync. So do that and then go back to the previous. You are now fallow. And fallow. Two and three are fallow. That's not supposed to be right. I'm still out of sync here. It keeps changing on me. <clears throat> No, I guess that one was supposed to be fallow when I messed it up here. Okay. So, hmm. Well, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, that's a mess. I'll deal with that when the winter comes, and I can delete everything and start over. Okay. <clears throat> and I saw a comment on Twitter while I'm thinking of it that... Uh, one thing that's going to be fixed next time is the ability to delete a field, put it back in, and get 100% of your nutrients back. So apparently, with next patch, the ground is going to remember what was done to it, with or without the des designation of being a field. So that's going to eliminate the ability to, to kind of game it, to never have to worry about, about uh, following out a field. Anyway, um, yeah, that mess is going on over there. So, speed this back up. I don't think there's anything else I'm really worried about missing so if this did happen yep 10 more will be 
coming in soon. Where are you right now? You're right there. I'm not seeing the other one leaving. So I guess it doesn't show up. Okay. <clears throat> so, fish. Get this guy going. Let's get... Actually, no. Don't need anybody in there right now. We just need boats ordered so we can use them. And then let's go ahead and hire one person into here. And he'll go ahead and, and take care of uh, building the boats. Just have to remember to, to take that job away later. And this guy needs some cattle put in there. Oh, let's remember how this worked. All the bowls landed in here. So the extra bowl is sitting here to go over to there. Now, hopefully there's not a problem with that happening. Let's remember that. Let's just do a very minimum. It seems like these problems happened. Is there another one? There's another one yet. You guys, I don't know what to make of you. Who do you belong to? These move at least. I've seen them move. I've never seen these move. Hmm. Anyway, are we going to do... Oh, we are going to do all of them. That's right. That's right. I turned them all on. Okay, so we're going to get one huge crop out of here. And we're going to have no sunflower oil for the next year. Because everything's going to be depleted. So we'll have three fields of partial crops. By the time I reset all this. Yeah, okay. That's the sunflower. Anyway, um, so we moved one bowl. And let's move two cows. And you to there. And you to there. And I'm not going to move any more. Because it seems like each time, so I was trying to say before... That this has happened, it's happening after I had moved them during the summer. While the, and the field that they were fallowed in is where they stayed. So I want to see if two or three get stuck in this field next time. I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to move any more unless it's just a slaughter. Which we could. Over here, we have an older one. I'd say let's keep the the shoe industry going. Messenger from family out of money. Who's out of money right now? And slow it down for messenger from. The, hmm, Krivoruchko family. I gotta sound those out slowly. You're functioning normally. That's good. You're both employed. Shoemaker's workshop, that's good. Warehouse is good. So it should be good, constant employment here. So I'm not gonna worry about you. There have been a few others popping up. Um... I was doing what? No, I was doing this. And thinking about two other things I want to do. Like family out of money, it's the same one. Yeah, okay. Uh, I want to talk about um, uh, Makita's house in a little bit. You guys are really hitting us with the demand for sunflower. That's the second round, third round for you guys. We got two in a row last time. Um, no more. We're kind of done there. So actually, once that is finished, we got nothing we're going to buy for them either. Budget is doing decent. Um, you're here. We're done. We're done. And let's not store so many. We're done? Couldn't be done. No, we still have 10 coming in. So let's take you down to 20. So you're not going to bring any more over. I still leave plenty for the town to deal with, at least for now. What's in the town right now? Sunflower? Nothing. Yeah, so we need a chance to get some of them in there. There is nothing stored because the trader's been taking all of it. So let's stop at that point. So I'm hoping that the trader doesn't then take it right back out of the warehouse again. Or where that the warehouse doesn't take it out of the granary again. I'm hoping that's the case. That uh, what goes into the granary stays there. Take from other granaries is all. So, hmm. I wonder how the game knows who's allowed to take from there and who doesn't. That's interesting. And we have a lot of job positions open that aren't being filled. So maybe we do have room for more housing to go in. Um, let's just take a peek make sure that all the farms are operational. Uh, we're missing one there. Missing one there. Then let's check at who is still waiting to be sown. Right in there. And we're into April and you guys haven't done it yet. That hurts. Over here, that one's done. So you guys can all be released except for the... Who were they? The Paradaries. <clears throat> Actually, just the one. You are the one that lives over here and is doing fine. Okay, so we'll take you all down except for Oksana Paradary. Over here, you guys. Everyone's there. Sewn and sewn. Okay, 
you guys can all go away except for the... Ooh, what name sounds familiar? Actually, none of you. Now, you... No. So, I think we're fine here. So, we'll just take you down like so. That one is a save. Okay. Over here, field five sewn. All the sewing's down here, too. We've got over here, Evidenko, which is doing fine now. So, I don't see anybody else that's iffy. Evidenko's are... Yeah, they're, they're waning now. Okay, I'll leave you in here. So that leaves Mikola in there. That should leave plenty of people to get this done, and hopefully some laborers. In fact, let's go ahead and up the laborers to uh, to 10, and go ahead and take you up to 5 as well. Or 10% more. So let's get this going. I'm at 1 speed. Probably best that I was at 1 speed through that. Um, otherwise, the trade is in. Okay. So everything else I think is doing fine. We got boats ordered and we released a lot of people, but all those people just went home and they all noticed that they need firewood and other things like that. So they're going home with their firewood. They're, they're heading off to the market to get, uh, you know, shoes and clothes. And then after a while, they're going to go look for a job and start working at the, no, no, he, he almost did. He's thinking about it. Yeah. He's going to bounce back and forth and, and just, uh, Hmm, yeah, I don't know what that's about. Yep. <laughs> okay, so otherwise, boats are done, fishing's, well, done enough, and that's all on my list. Okay, so these guys over here, if you've been following the drama of Sophia's house, nothing is happening here, but they are completely rich. I think what's happening... The game allows them to stay so long as they are in the process of bringing food. And there's 0.1 fish that were being brought over before this malfunction. So food is on the way. Water is on the way. Firewood is on the way. All the basic requirements are on the way. So it doesn't kick them out of their house yet. And in return, they don't have to spend any of their wages. So they're, um, you know, they're, they're living the good life here. And it was, it was suggested that maybe we kick around the idea of go ahead and deleting the house. It would take Sophia out of the, uh, the horrible situation of being a living statue over here, I think. Or it may break the game for good. Hmm. That's an interesting uh, way of looking at it. How are we doing over here? We need to be sewing this one. Nobody's working anymore. That is the second time that this thing has failed completely on me. We're going into May. That is really odd. Well, they're starting to move around again. Hmm. If I take you to 120, what's the chance all these guys are going to quit their job to become laborers? But I still can't get them over here. Are their family and money are the same one? That's you guys. So if we were to tear these two houses down, would that be a way of getting out of this issue and potential future problems of this building up. I think I'm going to do that. Hopefully this doesn't stop my uh, recording, but I'm going to hit save and pop back out of there. Okay, good. I, I've got a, you can't see it, but there's a red 17 right there. We're at 18 now. That's my uh, frames per second. Oh, we're up to 20. And that tells me that Fraps is recording, but it's, it's not recorded into the video. That tells me that it didn't stop recording. So let's, ooh. Never mind. We're missing a little button here called Demolish. So there is no taking the houses out yet. That doesn't exist. So that plan's gone. Okay. So we're stuck with them. I can't think of any other way to demolish them. There's no... We don't have tornadoes yet. <laughs> That's all we need is a good old banished tornado to come, come uh, plowing through here. So out of food. That is them. That is the Makita house. They've been out of food for a while. This might finally be the end of them. All of the waitings have finally gone away except for water. And that one is stuck. It's never going to go away. When the firewood goes away, that may be the end of them and that house. And we'll get them restored. So we'll see what happens then. If Makita is no longer there, right? Yeah, right there. He's no longer here. Will that freak the game out when I go to reload? That'll be a good experiment to try. 
Otherwise, are we happy here? We are still sewing halfway through May. Oh, that hurts. We ever hire us? Yeah, we got some laborers in there who are reaping the benefits. Probably left their other jobs. A lot of bouncing over here. We're having a really hard time filling in jobs in this corner. So I guess it would be smart to get this one going again and this one going again. Hopefully I didn't pull laborers out of here to go and work these jobs. At least not that you'd know it. Okay. Those going again. Um, maybe even a house or two right over here. In fact, that might help clean up the, the graphics that have gone wrong over here from the old field six that used to be in this area. Though I don't know what randomly caused this one. There was never anything plowed over here. I noticed there's another random plowing over here that was never there. So, odd how some of those just kind of show up once in a while. There's another one over here. Actually, this one did have a... Think about that. Was this farm two or was this farm two? I think this was. Yeah, this was against the trees here. We had a field over here. So for some reason it left that little plow mark. So if we were to put in a few houses over here, get those put in, just to guarantee uh, workers over here, maybe we'll end the uh, problem of the uh, the fields having having issues of, of being sown. Um, housing right there, and probably something like this. So I would say we'd want to, uh, we have a road problem, don't we? Okay, actually, yeah, we want to spin you to aim at the road too. All right, so hold the alt and that's pretty parallel okay so let's put you hmm if i were to move that and move these fields in i can tighten up that road which means i want to tighten the road over here so if i tighten it up say at winter time moving the locating this to maybe here or something which one would move this would move up to there I want to tighten it up to the opening of this because that's the way I originally laid it out. Right? No, it did curve over. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it did kind of go curvy on us, didn't it? Hmm. I want to build the house to match where the road is going to be. How best to do that? Um, house. And in that case, I think I would actually rotate you... Well, I was going to think it'd rotate you like this. But they'd go over here for the market. So probably best to be, still be like that. Hold down the Alt. We line up pretty good to there. And... I think this is the one that's going to move. So let's line you up to that. How close can I get? Right there. And then a second one... Oh, wasn't holding the shift. There we go. Second one is not going to happen. Interesting. Can I squeeze you over and back? Oh, I kind of can. Okay. So parallel to the front, the fence up there in front of it. That look pretty good? I think so. All right. Hold the shift. You're going there. Now over here, hold the alt so you don't snap. You're the one who's probably then going to go closer to here. Yeah, something like that. I'll give a little extra space. Right there. And then pop into here. Just shy of there. If I skinny it up, I can maybe get one more in that space. But I don't think that's going to look right. So we'll go ahead and make this move over. Something like that. Alright, do that to there. Pull you back just a little bit. Something like that. That's fairly even. Now, do we do another one? We don't have to. Two and two? Two and two for now. Now, who are you? You're over there. All right. Continue you. You're over here. Hello. There you go. Yeah, we'll continue you. All right. So, this. Sewing is finally done. We're going to get very little growth out of here, which means two crops in a row does work still hmm yeah we're gonna try and fix that problem all right a lot of families out of money I want to fix this but yeah you're the Makita family okay over here we've got who Hubenich you live there all right you're 
Hubaniv, Hubaniv. That's different from whoever was in here that had bankrupted and moved out. Okay. I'm trying to recognize names that I don't want to let go. But everything out here looks like seven night except there's a Perry Dairy. You're the one that was over there. Oh, you're gonna get fired again? Oh, sorry, dude. But um, yeah. I don't want to pay all you guys through the summer. So you guys can go and, and build houses. Now I do want to leave a female worker in these if I can. Just because the guys are allowed to work in the construction. So I think with that I'm going to let McCullough go. And see who we randomly bring back in here. <laughs> really only guys. Okay try that again. Really? Come on that's got to be a, a mom that needs a day job. Because the guys can work on the construction. The ladies can't. Okay I'll lure you guys in with a uh, there we go and take you away and then uh, false advertising we'll take your wage back down <laughs> oh the morals of Ostrov all right take you guys back down if I have anybody else that is wage increase just to get you back to work again there was one cow shed right there we go back down now over there, slaughterhouse. Did I, Mark? Think about this. Was there one more waiting? Right there. All right, slaughterhouse. One worker, and then over here, um, we are done. 0.5 should still make for a leather, but I notice they always seem to stop at 0.5. Don't know why that is. You have nothing stored for that, so you've got nothing more to do. All right, do we want to take any other cows out? I don't want to move anymore to see if two or three ends up stuck over here. If so, then we'll know that it's summertime that's causing this problem. Where are you guys from? There were two there earlier. Okay, I'm a little confused. How is it that they're randomly moving in and out of these? I don't understand it. Who are you? You are moving in to the house that was broken. Nope, that's Trading Post and Marcus Stall there. We lost another family. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah. One went to two, went to five. Um, the three that I moved, do they land there? That's something to keep an eye on. See if we end up with a total of three more that are stuck. So let's, let's not do any more moving during the summer. I had a suspicion in several episodes ago that these two were correlated with the, the only two that I moved that year. Swapping from one to the other to get a couple cows over. Now I have no idea what is a cow and what is a bull. They've all got horns and, and there's no designation difference that I know of. What was I just seeing there? You're vibrating up and down like you're breathing. Speed one. Your, your head is slightly going up and down. A couple of pixels. Interesting. There is a very slight animation there. Same there. Move it up and down just a little bit. Speed it up. Now they're kind of vibrating up and down. Now, was there anything else? Makita's house. We were watching that one. More firewood's coming in. They'll be perpetually out of food. And yet, as long as there's firewood coming in, they won't leave. Interesting. Okay. That's... We're just kind of stuck there. How's the growth doing? Now, this is the one we're watching. Growth coming in at around 50. Uh, end of... June is when growth ends. Ripeness begins at, at July 1 from what I've been able to detect. You guys doing a little better. This one had a good early start and we're still in that 50%, 50 to 60% range. Uh, over here, same. That's about the best we can really get out of, out of this. I wonder if later patches are going to include something else that helps with the growth. Some kind of a 
Well, not fertilizer. That's all dealt with there. So I don't know what it would be. Or else it's just going to be re rebalancing that the, uh, that the plowing will do something else. But, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's odd that we never get uh, anywhere close to 100% or you know, near the end of the bar. Otherwise, we've been running at two-speed through most of this. July just happened. We should be working on ripeness. We're not. Maybe that's not a July 1st thing. Okay. Growth is still happening over there. Uh, this one starts over here. I wonder when ripeness is going to happen. Which family's out of money now? Same one over there. Um, but still have lots of food available. So out of money isn't an issue. It's out of food that's the issue. And I'm curious when ripeness is going to begin. I'll try my best to leave that on the screen so that we can see how that uh, how that's going to go. In case I'm busy thinking about something else, at least I can see it when I'm editing. That it is there a chance that let's see we'll watch blue that that's not real time. And what was that? That was something finished. A house, okay. 21. See if that goes to to 20 while we're looking around things. I'm trying to remember if that was real time or not. Still, that, 1 to 20, okay. So it is real time. So it will switch to ripeness on its own as long as that's on the screen, okay. Um, house just got done somewhere. We've got that one going. We need to put this one back in. I'll wait till ripeness is done. Um, one of these, there it is. That's the one that just finished. So there's the family moving in now. So we'll zoom in and watch how this works. And I'll go in. The mom goes off to the market usually. She went and got her stuff in the market. Good. Whatever. Well, pause. I'll click away for a moment. Sunflower oil, one tenth. So, which I think is 10 sunflower oils myself. They'll use it in tenth marks, or hundred, hundredths. So I think that's 10. Um, back to ripeness, okay. And then she will go off to work. She went to get water, okay. I uh, forgot to watch to see where he's at. He will then take off to go work on a job at some point. The kids will go back and forth from house to house and, and uh, play with each other. And I didn't see where she went now. Okay. But yeah, they, they get right to work as soon as, they, uh, as soon as they get in there. Okay. Ripeness still isn't happening. Interesting. Oh, there it is right there. So middle of July is when the ripeness begins. Okay. So we get a little bit more growth in there than I thought. So it's only two weeks of ripeness. This one got out to there. This I go into the first field in the in the uh, in the farm. That's the one that they got started with the first. So that's that's trying really hard to get to three quarter. I'm gonna say that's two thirds. We split this in half. That blue there looks like that black there. So that's two thirds. So 67 percent. Over here, this is the first field. Not quite two thirds. That's a little bit further. Over here, you guys got to. Maybe five eighths, and over here you guys got to that you know a little past halfway, so five eighths. So that's really about as far as I've ever seen it go. Those two right there. Uh, this is one of them didn't make it. That's what I noticed that other time when I said that I I suspected that the cows moved in the summertime were the problem. I put two cows in a bowl over there, and only two are are recorded. And everything's used fallow, yeah. And the family just moved in to here, so that was the Ivanenko. No, not there. Here. Looking for a pause. Looking for a ten. Okay, it must be this one. No, that's the problems we had, and I've never read Shepuluk family. Shepuluk. Hmm. So that must be the new family. And new. I'm trying to see if they're already off getting stuffs. Alright, so we have got market over here. I guess where I would expect them to go is right there. We've got markets over here. We've got markets over here. And then for everybody else in the middle. 
We've got markets kind of scattered around this ring here. So I don't know what really to do with this market center. It didn't It didn't really evolve the way I was hoping to. But one thing I just thought about was I was looking here is it would be nice to go ahead and clean these pathways up by putting one more house in here. So let's do this and see if we can stretch this out a bit. Make that nice and big and kind of control the, the footpaths in there. Although you're kind of backwards, aren't you? Yeah, that would have been a big mistake. Right there. There. What are we having a problem with here? You don't want to snap any closer than that. Okay. Um, alt. Feels like it's crooked. It is a touch. So just to touch the T the slightest little bit. Ah, way too much. Each time. Okay. Well, the house is going to be crooked. But I can fix the fence by pulling it down a little. All right, you're going there. And I'm still going to put pathways around this side of it. They go in like this, but as close as I'm going to get. This one, I could correct a little by doing something like this. There. That is the split three rail, so that's that one. So snag you and head out to... Oh, something like that. Well, that's closer to a normal fence post length, so we'll do that. Okay, now they'll all walk through here and make this one look a little better. All right, so what have I not kept track of? Let's look at our budget for a moment. Let's slow down in case something's... In fact, let's peek here. I haven't missed any of these messages. Okay, so let's check the budget see how we're doing for the year. We were down 500 two years ago. We were down 400 and something uh, last year. So what are we down this time? We have exported only 300. Oh! It's working. Look at the local sales. They're through the roof. We have exported 300 and we are 400 to the good, which means we're 100 to the good minus exports. It's working. So that's the results I was hoping to see. We're bringing in product like the cattle to turn into merchandise to be sold to our own people. Though we may be bankrupting some of those people and are moving out, so there is that to consider. You know, they're buying uh, shoes and clothes, which I assume are, are more expensive. At least the sunflower oil is that. That's just ten. That's ten. Potatoes are eight. So I'm going to assume that things like flour and milk, potatoes are in the eight range. Sunflower oil is ten. Maybe clothes are with that too. Uh, shoes are clear up at thirty-five. So considerably more. So our people buying the expensive stuff is going to cause their incomes to possibly, you know, tank and put them into problems, which is where we need to either pay them more or get them employed longer, or more jobs to, to give us something to do, which is hard to do because we can't make enough hemp to, to employ more than three people. Now we're out of hemp. We got hemp in here. We have no hemp in there. We have no hemp in here so I can't keep them employed there's nothing for them to do I, I can pay them to do nothing and I'm only guessing that they're actually getting paid she find home right over there um well this is the weaver shop and they've got a pretty good income so I assume that they are getting paid what if we tried okay what I'm worried about is instead of trading it away I could just sell it to our own people so that it increases the local sales, which balances our budget and won't we'll depend on trading. But we're emptying out their personal wealth doing that. Some of them have got a lot of personal wealth. They're positioned in just the right spot to get just the right jobs to never worry about things. Others are far enough away where there's only two jobs in the area and one permanent, two permanent jobs. Everything else gets cycled so they don't get a good enough income. I could hire everybody and then decrease the town's general wages so that the budget doesn't decrease too quickly, but everybody's getting a constant smaller income so they can continue you know, as if they were hired all year long at a better income. So there's that tactic. I could take down some of the basic things market produce price we can take that back down to a hundred so there's basic stuff that is being a uh, messenger from okay um, I'm going slow 
So I've just helped their their own personal budgets a little bit there. Uh, that's probably going to shear off that hundred and get us back to even, which is plenty. As long as we can maintain about a thousand even, we're fine. We do want enough in there to be able to buy more cattle, be able to slaughter more cattle. Um, cattle's about it, huh? Although we could bring in. Um, um, well, let's do that. Darn it. I really want you guys to start coming in. We could bring in dried fish and sell them the dried fish, which should come out as a, uh, a net positive for us, too, and give them some more variety. So selling things to our own people is one way to keep the, uh, the budget balanced rather than having to deal with trading, mostly because it's inconvenient to have to go in and say, okay, let's now bring up the sunflower oil much higher and then trade it out, but then forget that I've made it higher and all the sunflower oil goes away from the town as we're trying to refill the trader again. And then there's nothing to sell our own people so that the um, the local sales drops way down and we're back into a deficit again, which we've got to trade to recover from. So if we can eliminate most of the trading, we don't have to worry about that. We can use trading to bring in products and then sell to our own people. But we need to find that balance now of how to keep our own people from going personally bankrupt in order to make that work. That all makes sense. So still quite a balancing game in figuring out how to not get your cattle stuck. Otherwise, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one's a baby. Maybe one's a baby. Hmm. You kind of wonder if this one chose to go here. But it's not a fallow field, and it wasn't marked as a fallow field the entire time. It, you know, everything in here got on to, on to grow sunflower this year as a mistake of the previous year. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what to make of that. I also don't know how to, you know, stop these guys from doing all these wonky uh, pathways in here. I feel like sticking a building in there and stop this. You know, let's, let's have a main thoroughfare there and a main thoroughfare there. That would be nice. I have to find a way to clean this up. But, is there anything left undone? There is boats. Let's peek at this as I need to end this episode. Over here, we are... We've got two out of three boats going. Let's put in two people into here. And you are still building one boat. And... You've got... You're going to have to get the wood to do that. Okay. So that's taken care of there. We're going to have some of these guys, I'm assuming, reposition, re-employ uh, re themselves into some closer employment. And we should then start seeing a nice pathway forming here. we got a good pathway forming here. I like the way this is working. Though I now wish I'd turned that house around so we could have had a, a reason to make it fit over there. Um, but I do like the way that the pathways are starting to, to you know, solid out. Just got to finish shaping them like this one's gonna go away and this one's gonna go away and eventually that's gonna all clean up so just little little touches to it but I think we've solved a few mysteries in here this time or at least uh, come a little closer to it um, not going to are we gonna sell any more sunflower oil we could build up a little bit more cushion and buy some more cattle and go ahead and start uh, slaughtering some some uh, younger ones. In fact, we could do that if we can ever get another... Uh, what was that? It just popped up. Interesting. It's just the right map spot and something happens over there. Um, if we can get more... If we can ever get this town here to send a, uh, um, a messenger. Hmm. Let's... Before I forget next time. I wish I knew more, more about the milk. Let's take out a one year. Oh, you already got it, huh? There. Yep, you already got it. Take out a one year there. And a one year bowl here. And a couple of one year cows over here. Just two. And there's, I feel like I'm missing one. There. We just did that one, right? Yeah. So here. Yeah, you know, one of these. Maybe this is one I haven't been to yet. And you there. Okay. I'm wondering if the older cows make the milk. 
So I still haven't figured that out yet, if there's a certain age before Ostrib starts collecting milk from them. Or if it really knows which one um, had babies recently. In which case, we have no way of knowing which one's a slaughter and which one's not. But I need, I think I want to next time bring in more cattle, convert more into shoes, which means we're going to be taking out young ones as well, and just keep that, that process going. But I think this is probably a good place to call this episode done. This has been No Rambler, and thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.